Walter Langlois has created a number of automated processes across a range of industries over the years. In 2007, he bought a small vineyard in Marlborough. After spending some time in the vineyard, he decided there had to be a better way of stripping cane from grapevines. I got down here in uh, May 2007 from Auckland and basically knowing nothing about the viticultural industry. Our first job on our very small vineyard, a five acre vineyard, was to, uh, to strip out the canes or prune for the next season. Um, my wife got some instruction on pruning and uh, asked me to go out and strip this material out. And uh, so I decided to, I thought that would be relatively easy and it worked out it was a lot harder than I thought. So I, I looked at it, uh, trying to devise a, a means whereby we could get them out and for some reason I went out into the vineyard with a ladder and started to try to pull them out from the top and I found that they actually pulled out quite, quite easily relative to trying to pull them down. And with my experience in general industry, I know that a pinch wheel mechanism is very, very good and it's very hard. So I thought, well, let's try that. And basically that was the, the birth of the, of the idea. The unwanted canes get gripped in between the wheels, get basically ejected up into the shredding part of the machine and then again get cut up into very fine pieces and then get ejected out of this area here which puts all the waste into the middle of the row. It's a very simple operation. So they're hydraulically driven on this particular machine which is our new model for 2009. They're run by a separate power unit which is off the rear PDR of the tractor. On last year's model we ran them off the tractor hydraulics. So uh, you can have either or, depending on what you want. With the shredder, however, you have to run the uh, external power unit because of the uh, sheer volume of oil that it takes. So our tyre speed relative to um, ground speed um, was quite low. So we had to try to hold the canes in there for a, uh, an amount of time whereas we could eject them. And we found that the, the mid-wheel was really the key to it, um, along with, with the wire deflector to, to hold the top wire down as we were going along. Otherwise, the wire would come up and get in between the tyres as well. These canes that we want to keep for next year have been topped below the top wire. This is necessary so that as the machine comes along, there's a, a difference in height. So obviously it'll grab this one and won't touch this one. Now these canes that are left will be laid down for the fruiting wires for next year. So they will come along and wrap that down onto the fruiting wire for next year, so like so and like so. I was talking to a contractor last night and he said to me that they've taken on half as much work again this season. I think they're pretty close to a million vines that they've been able to take on. He said to me that the costs were 30% down and the speed was 30% quicker. And their manpower has dropped by a quarter. So if you work the mass out and all of that, it's considerable. So they've been able to take on more with less staff and it's cheaper. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. The main attraction to us was it came along a couple of years ago when labour shortages were looming for the industry. Uh, we were really struggling to find enough people to actually do the job within the um, time frame of winter pruning. And uh, it's allowed us to free up the people that were doing the stripping to do other more technical tasks and taking quite a bit of the effort out of it as well. This program was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.